morning, Dave here. I just uh, want to do a clarification on uh, my spiral staircase. I've never built one before, but uh, I built quite a few uh, conventional staircases straight up. But this one I was going to show how I laid it out and figured it out. And hopefully, uh, if somebody out there wants to build a spiral staircase, uh, the formulas that I show will make it easy for you to do uh, no matter what height or how many steps or, or uh, how many times you want to go around. I'm, I'm going around the uh, main pole one time. So that means I'm going 360 degrees. And uh, I, I, I felt that was good for my trailer. Uh, the deck height is going to be uh, 10 feet, 7 and a half. And uh, so at 360 degrees, that'll take it up 119 inches at 8 and a half inch rise per step. And uh, I did that so that I get halfway around, I get 180 degrees and it comes up right about my head level and I'll put that up against the wall so the next step comes out like six, seven or something like that. But it's uh, up high enough so that you, when the steps go out into the middle of the trailer, in my particular case, it will uh, give you headroom. So here's what I did. I was watching uh, Andrew on YouTube, he built the stairs, and, and, and this guy's really sharp. Young kid, really knows what he's doing. And uh, uh, so what you do, I, I jigged mine up. Mine's a little bit different. And I'm, I'm using uh, this right here is a three and a half inch Sked 40, and it, it fits right over a three inch Schedule 40. And that's the reason I'm doing it. I'm using a three inch Schedule 40 tube in the center and uh, these will slip over it and what I decided was I, I have set screws here I have a couple of them back here and a couple here and I was trying to figure out how I could do this so that my steps would come out more or less all the same put them in there and I finally came up with this idea that I took a little piece of three inch I got a little tack hold it down and these right here I drill and tap and I tighten them up so that this piece, which will hold the stair tread, is in exactly the same position it's going to be on the pole. And another reason for that is if it's off a little bit, it doesn't matter because I'm going to make them all right here the same and they'll be all off the same. And uh, that way you avoid uh, cumulative error. Uh, for some reason, when people make stuff, you know, we never make it perfect. I mean, we will have a little error and uh, normally speaking, our error will always be in the same direction. Not always, but just about if you make it a little long, you'll make all of them a little long and everything will grow. If you make it a little short, they'll all be a little short and it'll shrink. So if you do it like this, every one of them will be off exactly the same, off your base line, and uh, none of them will be off more than, than whatever your human error is. So anyway, uh, Andrew told me he said in his video that OSHA says uh, your minimum stair with uh, from the pole can be 26 inches. I don't have much room. So mine comes from the edge out here to approximately center with about 26 inches. I went down to the minimum. And uh, in my case, uh, you take Pi D, which would be uh, high times 52 in my case comes out to 163 and 3 eighths I want 14 treads to go all the way around 360 degrees so I divide the 14 into the 163 so you could you're gonna lay yours out whatever your your width is you uh, double that multiply times pi that gives you circumference and then however many steps you want to go around you divide that into that number and my particular number comes out to 11 and 5 eighths now so my treads over here as you can see are not 11 and 5 eighths i made them 13 and a quarter and the reason for that 
is uh, I'll have hand handrail, or the, or I call them verticals for the handrail, and they will come up through here and here so that on every tread, the amount of, I'm going to use a uh, three-quarter uh, schedule 40, three-quarter schedule 40 pipe, which is an inch and one sixteenth, and this is eighth inch, I'm using an uh, eighth inch angle, you don't need it heavy, this is lightweight. Uh, you only have one body on there at a time. And that will uh, take up, this will actually, this much, will be under uh, the next step as you go up. So you, you have to take that into calculations when you're laying out your stair treads. Uh, and I've watched a lot of videos here on YouTube. And so this one I'm really making kind of like a, a manufacturer would make it. I've seen guys stick them on there and just weld them, but I wanted to do mine a little different, and, and uh, I'm gonna. That's why I made this jig. Jig it up, make all the treads exactly the same, and then they set collar, set screw on there, and uh, so it's kind of adjustable. But what I'll do then uh, to reduce the air, instead of putting a spacer in there to put them in there. I'll lay the whole pipe out before I stick it up there, and I'll have eight and a half inches between each line, and each tread will go to the, to the eight and a half inch mark, and that way they'll all space out. If uh, if these little pieces I cut are a sixteenth over a sixteenth under, it doesn't matter because uh, it all comes out in the wash if you do it like that. And uh, so I, I I welded this in here. Uh, while it's in the jig, kind of hold it all together. I got a, a it's really, mine's going to be 15 steps, but you only need 14, because instead of making a landing, the top deck, will, the whole deck will be the landing, and that'll be the last step, you don't need to do it. And uh, I'm going to use uh, my uh, number 9 flat expanded metal, and uh, I think uh, this should come out pretty good. I hope uh, that's not too confusing. See, I got my 360 degrees, 14 treads with an eight and a half inch rise, which is 14 times eight and a half. It's 119, and the top of deck's 10 feet, seven and a half. And uh, if I did all my calculations right, uh, I could stick my three inch uh, pipe weld it down to the deck and uh, square it, level it, and, and uh, everything's going to come out right the first time. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you like it, put a like. Uh, leave a comment. Thanks a lot. Bye.